In the 1800s, as settlers streamed into the Pacific Northwest, they encountered a rugged landscape and limited resources. Forced to adapt, they initially lived in stump houses, dwellings ingeniously crafted from the stumps of massive trees felled by logging companies. These makeshift shelters served as temporary homes until settlers could construct more conventional dwellings. While this hard work was in progress, some of the stumps were put to various uses. For example, one might be leveled off and used as a stage for music and dancing. Then there was adapting the huge tree stumps to be a shelter. And even though it was a temporary solution, it was a brilliant one. The settlers faced numerous challenges. After arduous journeys across mountains, valleys, and rivers, they arrived in the Pacific Northwest. Their priorities included finding resources to build homes and securing food. Growing crops and tending to livestock became essential tasks. The loggers had already cleared parts of the dense forest, leaving tree stumps behind. Resourceful pioneers saw an opportunity. They hollowed out the stumps, creating thick walls. Crafting solid roofs, cutting doors and windows, and installing stovepipes required patience and effort. Some stump houses even had two or three stories, equipped with everything a family needed. It was not unusual for people to turn their trusty stump dwelling to another purpose, such as housing livestock, after they had moved out to a conventional home. One man, William McDonald, even used a large abandoned stump structure as a U.S. postal office. His main office was in a far-off area of Washington's Olympic Peninsula, roughly 10 miles from Port Angeles. Winter posed the greatest challenge. The North Pacific experienced severe weather with frigid temperatures and persistent snow. Despite their imperfections, stump houses hold a certain magic today, reminiscent of forest elves' creations. The Lenström family, originally from Sweden, exemplified creativity. Britta Charlotta and Gustav Erik Lenström, along with Britta's brother Johan Axel Westerlund, settled in Edgecombe, Washington. Westerlund, a skilled woodcrafter, hollowed out a sizable cedar tree stump. Gustav completed the house by adding a door, window, and roof. The family even installed a wood stove inside for warmth. Photographic legacy photographer Darius Kinsey immortalized the Lenström stump house in 1901. His eight photographs turned the dwelling into a regional icon. Kinsey's fondness for the stump house extended to using a tiny image of it in his business stationery. If you're like me and enjoy learning about the more bizarre aspects of history, please subscribe to the Uncovered Enigmas channel for more content to satisfy your craving for all that's strange but true. Thanks for watching. I hope something good happens to you today. And may you never have to live in a tree stump. Peace.